Alright, so this is meal number five. It's five o'clock. Four more meals to go today. Four or five. Maybe some sushi, we'll see. <laughs> Off season, I love my sushi. Me, sometimes a little brain dead, I, I, uh, made the crystal light and I put two containers of crystal light inside a tiny little jug like that so I gotta water water it down because it's very very strong I don't know what I was thinking when I did that The dogs are even well fed around here. They're on a high fiber diet. That's his name, Trace. And the white one is Scrappy. Scrappy's eight years old. He was in my last video. Mm -hmm. He ended in the 99 battle for the Olympia as the attack dog. So he's been with me for quite some time. I used to take Scrappy to the gym with me in California when I used to train out there and in Massachusetts but he, out here it's a little too hot to take the dogs to the gym so I always eat my vegetables even in the off season I eat the same food when I diet uh, off season to pre-contest I live on basically rice and oatmeal and rice cakes and uh, for carbs and then I eat a lot of broccoli and then for my the only thing I change in the off season you see I'm eating red meat which I eat about three or four meals a day off season I'm trying to keep my fat intake up because like I said in about 10 days I'm really going to start taking my body weight up and try to get up so I'm about 280 pounds today by next week I'll probably be about close to 290 and then a month after that I should be at my highest uh, about 315 which I've been before but I'm gonna have to start adding some more fats into my diet and uh, keep my carbs at about a thousand carbs a day is what I shoot for in the off season I keep my protein at about 300 and my fat intake now rises to about 20% of my total calories. Equal cinnamon and plain rice cakes. That's my, my uh, special rice cake recipe. And then I have, of course, my uh, rice here. Uh, this rice cooker runs 24-7 at the Cutler household. So. Plain white rice, nothing better than that. Jay Cutler diet. This meal I'll eat about four times today of this meal. A few servings of egg whites. I'm gonna take my glutamine with every meal. Glutamine, only the best. I have this philosophy here. Sushi is the only meal I really like like to eat out because it's the only thing I don't know how to make at home.
Otherwise, I think it's pointless to go out to eat, and eat chicken breast and rice when you can make it home. Maybe I'm just cheap, but at least I admit it. I take uh, glutamine about 40 grams a day. I take it uh, before and after training meals and basically with every meal. I would suggest four times a day. Pre and post training and then when you wake up and when you go to bed. As you can see, I weighed the meat here. It's about six ounces of steak. About a cup and a half of rice. Four rice cakes, which equals about a hundred carbs. So, each meal is at least a hundred carbs. What I try to get is 200 carbs for breakfast, 300 carbs post-training, and then 100 carbs every meal after that. If I train twice a day, my second workout I'll consume about 150 to 200 carbs after that training session also. Two gallons of crystal light a day. and or water, maybe a little diet soda. And uh, that's it. In fact, I even mix my protein powders with Diet Mountain Dew sometimes, which sounds a little crazy, but sometimes you don't eat for taste, you know. I just eat for fuel, that's it. I eat to get big, I don't care what it tastes like. I mean, I burn my egg whites. Boy, if I even cheat on my diet with pizza, I prefer it burnt. I mean, anything, uh, anything for calories. Of course, want, wanting the best kind of calories, but I really don't have a problem with that. It's very rare that I eat very poorly. You know, I actually prefer to eat pretty bland food, which a lot of people ask me why I don't add more spice to my food or whatnot, but the simple rule I always learned in bodybuilding is I try to keep everything simple, which I've said a million times. Yeah, you know, I often tell people, uh, I've never cut, tried Kentucky Fried Chicken, so I don't know what it tastes like. I'll never crave it, and I'll probably never try it because I'm afraid I'll like it, so. Sometimes you just, uh, you learn to deal with things. I mean, being on a bodybuilding diet is hard enough, and I actually like to suffer. I like the challenge. It's, it's, it's actually a better feeling for me to know that I'm one of the few that will actually do what, what I do to get ready for shows and the lifestyle that I live and you know, I know I have a greater chance of winning because of my dedication and Obviously, the hard work has paid off since a lot of people didn't think I would be in this position and be one of the best bodybuilders today. But, I mean, I'm still the same guy as I was 10 years ago. Still just trying to make a living at what I love to do. And, uh, there's obstacles you have to overcome, that's all. And uh, we all 
have to face that. And right now, everything is set for one obstacle, and that's the Mr. Olympia at the end of the year. And right now, everything is in order to be victorious at that contest. Of course, if I can get my weight up now and stick to the game plan and and uh, not get injured, which I've been fortunate that I've never gotten injured, um, you know, I feel I can be my best in October. You know, it just seems as of lately, you know, there's been some criticism that I haven't been able to regain the 2001 Mr. Olympia condition. But, you know, at that time, it was that stage, perfect lights, perfect time for me, where I think that people just are going to expect too much from me all the time now, and I'm always going to be criticized no matter how I look. But I know I'm making improvements, and uh, I'll look like I need to win. I mean, I've won uh, basically four shows in a row now, and uh, I'm going to try to keep the streak going and win the Olympia. You know, but if I don't, you know, I know that uh, I'm very fortunate to be doing what I'm doing, and there's always the next time around, and I'll have to regroup and devise a, a scheme to uh, improve, because I always know I need to improve. I'm not a fool. I realize where my weak points are. So it's just trying to work on those things, and like you saw earlier today, I mean, me doing the massage and deep tissue work, stretching, you know, and staying consistent with the training, staying on a positive diet. I mean, that's just all the keys I need to, to win. That's it. Life couldn't be better in Vegas. This is this is Titus's gym now. We're in Titus ter territory. Yep. Yeah, I put on two pounds since yesterday, so I'm on my way back up. Started bumping up my fats a little bit, so. My body weight should start to climb now and might lose a little condition, but that's okay. Oh, it's right here. Thanks. This is great to warm up the elbow joints.
remember my theory, one from the bottom of the pan. It always challenges, it always sets a challenge for myself. That makes me think that I can't do the whole weight stack. I'm sore. My legs are killing me. Everything's killing me. I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? Sometimes that's good, you know? The reason why my shirt's too small is because I'm too big. Okay, so all you guys out there think my shirt's too small, it's because I'm too damn big. I think uh, close grip bench presses are probably the best exercise for triceps. Really packs the size on. What I'm basically shooting for now is like 40, 50 seconds rest in between sets. Uh, try to move pretty quick.
That pasta gave me a pump, man. Yeah. That just proves I'm not a show off. Are you going out of town again? Oh, you're yeah, in South yeah. Carolina. Okay. Okay, I'll call you this week.
15 inches. Plus seven. Tricep training, man.
Everyone wants to see the big showdown at the Big Olympia. They talk like it's a three-man show, but... You, know, you can't count Kevin out, you can't count Chris out. Sean Ray may come back and surprise some people, man. Anyone show this year, man. Ronnie still got the title. coming from I don't know this is supposed to be my downtime
I haven't been able to train my calves much because of the burn I got on my bike. Just too pumped up and pulls on. This is my second massage today. It's the better of the two. What's that? It's the better of the two. No more. No more for tonight. You're all done. I actually got a cramp <laughs> from training quads today. It's so tight I can barely walk. So. The doctor, also known as my wife, who is my nurse, my doctor, tells me I'm not allowed to train anymore. She said, you did enough for today. She says, stop showing off for your fans and call it quits. She says it's feasting time. Yet, yet he'll get up tomorrow morning and do 45 minutes of cardio. <laughs> okay, let's do the stretches then. Okay. Another day closer. I always feel so refreshed after training. You know. After eating so much food through the day, sometimes you can get much better workout at night. When I started training at 18, 
19, 20, 21, I was always training uh, at like 8 o'clock at night because I was in college or working or always doing other stuff uh, during the daytime so I wasn't able to train. And of course, that's when I put on the most weight. I put on uh, 70 pounds between uh, 18 and 21. You know, by 21 years old, I was basically just a slightly smaller uh, body than I have now. Just now I've refined and chiseled where I need to chisel and of course working towards uh, improving even more, which I don't even think I've really tapped close to what I could eventually become. I just need to find different routes to go about um, becoming the best. So that's why, you know, I'm making some changes to my routine, my diet. Try to uh, just get better, that's it. You can't always stick to the same thing, that's the most important thing. You know, you can't stay in the same routine for years and years and years. You can't eat the same diet, I mean, as your body progresses, your body's gonna demand more calories. An extra pound or two of muscle is gonna demand a lot more calories than what you formerly ate when you were lighter. So you need to make the, the different adjustments and work with your body as it grows. And, um, you know, it's uh, things are always gonna progress just like any sport, um, any technology. So just uh, you need to just, uh, you know, keep plugging along, that's all. Till tomorrow, that's it.